All right, I've done a video demonstrating the D-flat scale. <clears throat> I'm gonna demonstrate an exercise to practice um, shifting into thumb position with the D-flat scale. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the finger that I use for the second octave of the scale um, has us be in thumb position a little differently than um, we're just used to having a thumb on their harmonics, their octave harmonics, so like thumb over G harmonic. That's a pretty default thumb position. <coughs> but for our D flat scale, I go from four on D flat, one on D flat, four on F, then I shift into the thumb position and put my first finger on G flat. All right, so I'm I have my thumb over the fingerboard, <coughs> but I'm a little bit lower on the fingerboard towards the scroll. Um, <coughs> than I normally would be. So to practice finding this, I do this exercise. <coughs> so I, I find my D flat with fourth finger and I can establish where I am with by playing my C. I go up to E flat and F. here look what where my pinky is over the F I'm gonna replace um, my fourth finger with my thumb put my thumb where the F is for my this way all right so it's called a finger substitution where you substitute one finger for another in this case I'm substituting my thumb for my fourth finger <coughs> now we're in thumb position I have my thumb on the fingerboard, and now a half step above my thumb is G flat, so my thumb is on F. There's my G flat, and a whole step with my third finger is A, A flat. Alright, <coughs> so that's how you can find those notes. So the exercise is to do this. Pause, substitute your thumb. Thumb, one, three, one thumb. And then I can go back down. I do it again. <coughs> so this is the entire exercise. here by substituting your thumb where your pinky was. Um, so a way to measure um, shifting into that thumb position.